Okay, guys, let's look at uh, forces at equilibrium. So, if they say determine the forces at equilibrium, the force P, P, and T. So, the first thing I must do is to resolve uh, this P into a horizontal component and a vertical uh, component. So, into a horizontal component, we're going to uh, subtract one. We're going to subtract 180 into 180 so it's going to 180 minus 180 to find the angle of p so it's going to be uh, 50 uh, degrees that means uh, here we are having a uh, 50 uh, degrees so to resolve p into a horizontal component is going to be p cos uh, 50 cos 50 going in uh, this uh, direction which is going to the left hand uh, side so uh, to resolve p into a horizontal into vertical component is say p uh, sine 50 so p will go to uh, downwards so uh, to calculate uh, the force p and uh, t so we said uh, at equilibrium uh, sum of upwards of forces is equal to sum of uh, downwards of forces then the same applies to the right hand side right hand side is equal to the sum of the left hand forces that means all the forces that uh, the force t which is going upwards is equal to uh, the force uh, p sign 50 which is going downward so uh, upwards forces is a uh, p is equals to p is t is equals to p sine 50 so we can uh, resolve uh, t and p at the same time so what we're going to do is to we're going to start uh, at uh, at uh, the horizontal component uh, forces so in the horizontal component so all forces that are going to the right is equal to all the forces that are going to the left so uh, force that is going to the right is uh, 800 and newton so having 800 newton is equal to uh, p cos uh, cos 50 so then we now we are solving for p so in this side we are having only one variable so we can start at this side then we're going to find the first uh, p then we're going to say cos 50 divided by cos 50 so to eliminate the cos then we're left with p is equals to 800 over cos 50 then 800 uh, cos 50 is equal to p then at uh, this side we're going to say t is equals to t is equals to 800 800 over cos cos 50 multiplied by a sine 50 to find uh, the value of t then now we're going to have uh, the direct the magnitude of a t and the magnitude of a p so to find the of it uh, the horizontal so to find the force p is said uh, all the forces that are going to the uh, right hand side is equal to the sum of all the forces that are going to the left hand side then we resolve uh, we solve for a p this side so 800 is equal to p cos 50 and then we divide by cos 50 to eliminate to eliminate this cos to find the value of a p then a p is equal to 800 over cos 50 then you can now uh, punch your calculator and uh, find the answer uh, and uh, this side you will find uh, an answer again so that's uh, how we go we are um, so we are solving uh, forces to find uh, the value of uh, the unknown force P and T at equilibrium. So at equilibrium, that means all the forces are equal. The forces that are going to the right are equal to the forces that are going to the left hand side. And the forces that are going upwards is equal to the forces that are going uh, downwards. 
честно кажется